Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Locky Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 9, Simple Interest in Compound Interest Exercise 9. C question number uh, 3. This is how much will rupees 25,000 amount to in two years if the rates for successive years be 4% per annum and 5% per annum respectively. Now, this, what is the scenario here? What is the case here? Basically, it's saying that uh, the rate for two years is different, right? Two successive years, that means one after another. So that means the first year and the second year. So the rate for the first year is different. The rate for the second year is also different. Then what will be the compound interest? Because our sum is of 25,000 and it is compounded annually. For the first year, it is 4% per annum the rate and the, for the second year it is your 5% per annum so what will be the amount so very simple just see this formula again so amount rate like we have studied this first formula will be the same 1 plus r by 100 now we will make a change here we will not write the time in the power right we will not write to the power of n here what we will do is leave it as it is and one difference that will be there will be this we will call it r1 then another bracket we will put and here also 1 plus this time we will take r2 by 100 and so on if it is for three years then we will put one more bracket and then write 1 plus r3 by 100 now why am i doing this r1 r2 see r1 is the rate for the first year r2 will be the rate for the second year and you can shift it on like r3 will be the rate for the third year r4 so on if required so mostly two years will only come so see here we'll have one plus r1 by 100 and one plus r2 by 100 we'll add both of them then again we will open all these three bracket all these two brackets multiply principle the first bracket the second bracket that will give you your amount so see the principle is what rupees uh, 25,000 the rate which I'll call R1 for the first year is 4% per annum R2 is 5% per annum so these two different rates I have categorized as R1 R2 and what else do we need nothing else don't take the time here because it's not given and there is no need of the time also just this much is fine we can quickly begin so we'll have the principal that is 25,000 into 1 plus r1 that is 4 by 100 into 1 plus r2 that is 5 by 100 okay that's it now I'll simplify these inside these brackets so we'll have 1 and this will go 25 times by 4 now 5 and 20 uh, sorry 5 and 100 will go 1 and 20 times respectively so what do you have here you have got 25,000 into 1 plus 1 by 25 into 1 plus 1 by 20 okay these two are in brackets so what next I will do is you can see I told you whenever we are adding anything to 1 the numerator will become what the denominator of the fraction so this one becomes 25 this one becomes 20 and solve so you will have 25,000 into 25 plus 1 26 upon 25 denominator will not change okay it will stay as it is only this one will become this denominator that is one becomes 25 then 25 plus 1 has given me 26 same for here 1 will become 20 so 20 plus 1 is 21 upon 20 now you can open these brackets and do the multiplication very simple step 25,000 into 26 by 25 into 21 by 20 cancel this cancel this right 26 and 2 I will cancel 1 and 13 times now 25 and 25 hundred also we will cancel hundred times so you have got 100 into 13 into 21 13 into 1 is 13 
थ्री रिटर्न वन कैरिड ओवर थर्टी इंटू टू इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड वन विच इज ट्वेंटी सेवन सो आई हैव टू सेवन एंड इंटू वन हंड्रेड सो यू हैव रुपीज टू सेवन थ्री डबल जीरो दैट इज ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड दिस इज वॉट दिस इज वॉट योर दिस इज योर अमाउंट राइट ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज दैट इज योर फाइनल आंसर and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye